I just uploaded a comic cuts uh, talking about, you know, fame, fame on YouTube, fame in general, and how I never really want personal fame. A lot of people that want to entertain, uh, they have the inset goal of fame. You know, they just want as many people as possible to know who they are. They want as much as tension from the world. Uh, me, I just like creatively expressing myself. And, you know, yeah, I like venting sometimes. I like sharing my thoughts. And I'm very fortunate to be able to do that on this platform. But one thing I'd ever really want is fame. And it's kind of funny sometimes people will stop by and they'll say, you know what? People love this person. People love this person. You know, this person has over a million subscribers. Who are you? Who are you? You know, you just wish you could be this person. I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't. Uh, the pathways, you know, I mean, I think I kind of got it. I think I kind of know the pathways to fame on YouTube. I mean, the, the kind of people that are YouTube famous, uh, there's a lot of people that are YouTube famous. And you're like, okay, I get that. But some people that are YouTube famous, you're like, I don't understand it. You know, um, there's certain people that are beloved on YouTube. They're beloved. James Rolfe is one such person. He is beloved on YouTube. He is famous on YouTube. A lot of people, a lot of people want to know what's going on with him and Mike Matei and Cinemasker and Screenwave. There's a lot of interest there. And the thing is, I like to discuss lots of different things. And I also like to discuss personally what a lot of people want me to discuss. But I really don't have a lot of skin in the game here. Like, I don't have a dog in the fight, particularly. I just think that it was an interesting thing to talk about. So I had a few uploads, you know, talking about what was going on there. And that's what I like to do. I like to take things and points of discussion and I can link it to several different other things. You know, I can weave things together creatively like I'm doing right now. I want to finish off by talking about a comment I just got on my my thoughts on AVGN's 15 second send off to Mike Matei, where I talked about how weird it was for someone like Mike Matei, who had been involved with Cinemassacre for 15 years, had a brief mention, a 15-second send-off in a video. And how odd and how strange and how weird that was, if we're to all believe, you know, that, well, things are hunky-dory, everything's fine between him, James, Screenwave. It just didn't specifically seem like that. But I don't know. There's a small possibility everything could be on the level, but, you know, sometimes we discuss things because it just seems kind of weird, right? Well, one thing I talked about, I think, in the upload was it was funny how James always says he doesn't have time. Like, he's always mentioned in it, like, oh, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. And I'm like, you know, you don't work a day job. So how the fuck don't you have time? You know, I, I mean, it's like a lot of people on YouTube that are living a, a life, a very simple, easy life, I would say, you know, compared to like a, a typical life that most people have to, you know, get up, go to work, and they don't maybe like their jobs and everything. You know, some people really like their jobs, but a lot of people, you know, they hear James say that and they roll their eyes like, really? You don't have time? You? You don't have time? There's a comment I got from uh, King Calamari, and he says, he or she, says, Everyone acting like James doesn't do anything outside of making videos is an idiot. He has two young kids, a wife, and this was the only way he'd have time to make somewhat quality content. Life moves on, sad Mike is gone, but not understanding how James is busy is being purposely delusional. Then I say to him, uh, well, everyone does things. But what exactly is James doing, you know, full-time job work? You know, like, what's what's the full-time job there? Where, where does he have to be every single day? You know, every weekday that's keeping him from, oh, I don't know, just playing games with his buddy? You know, and I don't I don't know the history. I don't know the full history of Cinemassacre. I don't, all right? I don't know if they are bestest of friends and they've been for the longest of times. I see the comment most notably on Mike's channel under his videos is like, hey, what's up with you and James? Are you guys still friends? That's the biggest question, because a lot of people can't wrap their minds around it that, you know, these two people are not going to collaborate on YouTube videos anymore after doing it for so long, not even maybe on his channel. 
And, and that's that's my question I'm going to bring up here. Like, okay, let's say you've been doing YouTube videos with somebody for a long, a long time and been friends for a long time. Wouldn't you think that maybe James would, I don't know, stop by his channel or maybe do something or record something to send him on a channel or they would collaborate in some way, shape or form on his channel? You would think, right? But maybe not. Maybe they don't really care about YouTube anymore and maybe that's all it is. It's a hard, tough pill to swallow for a lot of people that get involved with these YouTube celebrities. Again, going back to fame, talking about fame, right? There's only so much time. I get it, right? But when someone that has a full-time day job and more than two kids and a wife or a husband, you know, when they hear James, you know, whine about how he doesn't have time all the time, you know, it just comes across as like, well, dude, you're living the easy life. James, literally, he is living the easy life. It doesn't get any easier than just kind of showing up, showing up and having other people put the videos together and you're just sitting down and you're reading a script. Like, it doesn't get any easier than what's going on currently. And you know what? As far as, like, two guys hanging out on the couch, James and Mike Mondays, like, I can't think of anything that really is easier to put together than two dudes sitting on a couch playing video games together. Right? I mean, those are not angry nerd episodes. They're not. They don't require a lot of editing. It's just two dudes sitting on the couch playing games. And people were happy with that. People were like, you know what? This is fine. We're, we're cool. You know, ultimately, I think the fans just wanted to see James and Mike sitting on the couch playing games. You know, that's, that's what they wanted. And now the fans don't get that. The fans don't get that because, well, you know, James just doesn't have time.